Grandpa Pig's train to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. I love Gertrude the train. And the good thing is, Gertrude has rubber wheels, so we don't have to go on train tracks. We can go wherever we like. <laughs> Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, all day long. <laughs> 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 Miss Rabbit is taking the grown-ups to work in her big train. Morning, Grandpa Pig. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Oh, that's nice. Bye. Go faster, Grandpa Pig. I can't. This is as fast as Gertrude goes. The big train is going very fast. Oh, dear. The big train has broken down. What's happening? We need to get to work. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Having trouble with your train? <laughs> it's not funny, Grandpa Pig. All of my passengers need to get to work. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change. But what am I going to do? You can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun! Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. Can't it go any faster? No. Gertrude is a slow train. Mrs Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. What's happened to the big train? Has it shrunk? No, this is a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh dear, a traffic jam. Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course. Bye everyone. Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond. Hello ducks. <laughs> up the hill. Come on Gertrude, you can make it. And to the next station. Hello. <laughs> Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is a, a miniature locomotive. locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the end of the line. This goes here and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. Last stop! Now you can all do your important work. Hang on. It's taken us so long to get here, it's home time. Oh, back we go then. But if we travel on Gertrude, it will take ages to get home. Hello, everyone. I've mended the big train. Excellent, Grandpa Pig. Wall change. Off we go. About Gertrude. We can't leave her behind. Yes, Gertrude! Don't worry. We can take the toy train as well. Gertrude is not a toy. We know. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is the best train in the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> Competition. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow we will have a pet competition. Ooh. Bring your pets to school. The best pet will win a prize. I'm going to bring my pet goldfish. I'm going to bring my stick insect. I will bring my gecko. I'm going to bring monkey. Ooh, ooh. That's not a real pet. It's a doll. It's not a doll. It's Monkey. <laughs> he likes you, Danny. Zoe can bring Monkey if she wants to. Home time, children. <laughs> Don't forget your pets for the competition tomorrow. 
It is the evening before the pet competition. Pepper and Susie are getting Goldie the fish ready. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <laughs> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <coughs> now you do it. <coughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited about the competition, monkey? <coughs> Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <coughs> Madam Gazelle? Who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr. Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clog. Right. And what does he do? This. Oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too, Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <coughs> yes, who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <coughs> Tiddles the tortoise! <gasps> Dr. Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. That's not fair! It's your own pet! Oh, no! This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to... Goldie the fish! Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to... The gecko! Hooray! The prize for the pet who looks most like a stick goes to Stephen. Hooray! The prize for the best monkey... Dr. Hamster, he's not a real monkey. He's just pretend. The prize for the best pretend monkey goes to Monkey. Hooray! But Dr. Hamster, which is the best pet of all? All of them. They're all happy, healthy pets. They're lovely. <laughs> Spiderweb. Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders. And I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr. Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh, I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. <coughs> oh, 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 it sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK, we'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr. Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. 
Mr. Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh, he's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <coughs> Mr. Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr. Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr. Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <coughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr. Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look! Mr Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy, you said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Peppa and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds. Asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a 
baby. We used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Pepper, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Pepper. Let's get you back to bed. Now. Which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy! That's Baby Alexander's room! Ah! <coughs> the light has woken Baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! <coughs> Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. All right. Cheerio. Oh, all that loud noise. Said baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> the wishing well. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George around his garden. Here are my cabbages, broccoli, and sprouts. Ooh. Potatoes, carrots, and beetroots live here, and over there is the fruit. What is this, Grandpa? That, Pepper, is a weed. What is a weed? A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Peppa. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper, and he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr. Bull is bringing Mr. Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! Use this as well! Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye! Bye-bye! What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh! And as it happens... I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic, and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? 
Of course, Peppa. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. Oh, don't tell us what you're wishing for. OK. Finished! Very good. Granny, do the wishes always come true? Yes. Oh, goody. But now it's time for Grandpa to take you home. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my little ones. Grandpa, you are very lucky having a wishing well in your garden. Do you think so, Peppa? Yes. You can wish for things whenever you want. Hmm. And the wishes always come true, because Granny Pig said so. Yes. Do you want to know what I wished for, Grandpa? What did you wish for, Peppa? I wish that I could have a wishing well and gnomes in my garden. Oh, well, I think we can do that. Peppa and George have arrived home. Mummy, Daddy, I made a wish and it came true. Really? What did you wish for, Peppa? Lots of gnomes and a wishing well for our garden. <sighs> oh. Uh, Grandpa Pig, I don't think we have enough room. Nonsense! You've got plenty of room. Uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> Peppa and George love gnomes and wishing wells. Everybody loves gnomes and wishing wells. <laughs> Mr. Potatoes, Christmas show. It is Christmas time, and Peppa and her playgroup are going to the theatre to see Mr. Potatoes' Christmas show. We're here. <laughs> Look, it's the Christmas vegetable family. Mr. Potato. Mrs. Carrot. Sweet Cranberry and Little Sprouts. Here are your tickets. Find the seat with your number on it. Here's my seat. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Quickly now, children. The show is about to begin. Um, Madam Gazelle... I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro! Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh! Sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr Potato's Christmas show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh! Hello, children. I am Mr Potato. This is Mrs Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favourite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yeah! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, there's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it! When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> There you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree Potatoes, carrots and cranberry It's, it's a very special, special Christmas with all our friends Well, the magic of vegetables never ends That's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, everybody! That was a bit quick. Wait! 
There's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho. It's the Queen. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes. Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Um... Jolly good! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yes! Madam Giselle's sleeping party. <laughs> it is home time at Peppa's playgroup. Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. What? Madam Gazelle. I am going away. Oh. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Madam Gazelle. Pepper and George are home from playgroup. Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. <laughs> Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madam Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is the day of Madam Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madam Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madam Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Oh, it wouldn't be a surprise. OK. <laughs> I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the Walking Gazelles. Hello, Walking Gazelles? Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I was think of the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You could go in now. Here is a present for you, an antique clock. Ooh. It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! oh. I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madam Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. Oh, oh the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's uh, rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. The 
our queen. Pepper and her family are watching television. <laughs> and now, a special message from the queen. The queen! The queen! <laughs> this is the queen. Hello to you all. Hello, queen. Today, I have decided to give an award to the hardest working person in the country. I wonder who that will be. It certainly won't be you, darling. The hardest working person in the country is Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Miss Rabbit runs the ice cream store, the recycling centre, the library. She drives the train, the fire engine, flies a rescue helicopter and works the supermarket checkout. Phew! What a long day. Surprise! Ah! What are you not doing here? Miss Rabbit, I have a very special letter for you. Open it! <laughs> Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best, the Queen. Ooh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. I can't visit the Queen. I've got too much work to do. Relax. No one will be working that day. The Queen has made it a holiday. Hooray! <laughs> it is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see the Queen. This is the Queen's Palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops! What a big house! Lots of room for a Queen to kick a ball about. Where is the Queen? Queen! Queen! Where are you? Hello! Have you seen the Queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle. No. No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. The Queen is not wearing her boots. Whee! <laughs> The Queen loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Desert Island. Pepper and George are at Danny Dog's house. Captain Dog is telling stories of when he was a sailor. I sailed all around the world and then I came home again. Ooh. But now I'm back for good. I'll never get on a boat again. Daddy, do you miss the sea? Well, sometimes. It is Grandad Dog, Grandpa Pig and Grumpy Rabbit. Hello. 
Uh, can Captain Dog come out to play? What? We are going on a fishing trip. On a boat. On the sea. OK, let's go. But, Daddy, you said you'd never get on a boat again. Oh, yes. So I did. OK. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Well, there they go. Off on a boat without me. What are you going to do now, Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll clean the seaweed off the house. You don't get seaweeds on houses. No, of course not. We'll take my boat. Are you sure your boat's safe, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, of course it's safe. I built it myself. Oh, we don't need that bit. Off we go. I love going fishing. Me too. And what do you need for a fishing trip? Fishing rods? No! The picnic basket! <laughs> it's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh, dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look! Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No. This is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island. With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh, dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea. Help! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Granddad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Oh, Captain Dog. Full sail. All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! We're saved! Captain Dog has rescued the granddads. Land ahoy! Everyone off the boat. Farewell, everybody. See you in a few weeks. Daddy, where are you going? Me? I was just... Thinking of sailing around the world again. But, Daddy, you're not a sailor anymore. No, of course not. Leave the sailing to us, Captain Dog. Yes, and when they get lost again, you can rescue them. <laughs> Perfume. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa's house. Pepper is watching Granny Pig at her dressing table. You smell nice, Granny. Thank you, Pepper. It's my perfume de lavender. It smells like your garden. That's because perfume is made of flowers. Hmm, Granny, I've got a very good idea. Really? Yes. First, I need some water. Here's your water. Right. Now I'm going to put flowers in it and make perfume. That's nice, dear. But only pick flowers from the grass, not from the flower bed. OK? OK. <laughs> Hello, flowers. Who wants to be in my perfume? I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Butterfly, I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <sighs> Lovely! Here is George. Stand back, 
George, I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <coughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. <sighs> Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George, you can't put grass in my perfume. It needs to smell of flowers. Smell! <sniffs> Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! <sighs> Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. <sighs> oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> And this is lavender. Oh, that smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow, that's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny, smell this. <laughs> what is it? It's my perfume. Oh, yes. It's lovely. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of anything. There must be something you like the smell of. <coughs> George has found a muddy puddle. <laughs> <coughs> ah, George, what have you got there? Have you made some perfume? <coughs> Actually, that smells quite nice. <coughs> Smells lovely. I say, that is delightful. What did you put in it, George? <laughs> George's perfume is made out of muddy puddles. Ah! Perfumed a muddy puddle. Whee! <laughs> 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 Granny Pig, you smell even nicer than you did before. Yes, you should use perfume de muddy puddle more often. <laughs> <laughs> the children's fate. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fight to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fete. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fete. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups. Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs. What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily. You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm! This all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course. We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily. How much money have you raised? Money? 
Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <laughs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Fun, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Lots, Lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> the Aquarium. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Peppa. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, Ooh. what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! wow. <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. 
George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <laughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <laughs> That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the aquarium cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger anytime she wants. <laughs> George's racing car. It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper, George, Daddy and Grandpa are inside watching racing cars on television. Car number two. It's neck and neck coming up to the finish. Yeah. What a lot of noise. This is so exciting. Car number two is a must. Ah, that's better. The race was almost finished. Switch it back on. Wow, that was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. So, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK, I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed, where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Peppa. Ooh. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seat. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Away! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Peppa. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah. Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car. <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. Wow. wow. I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <sniffs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come, Come on, George! Yeah. That's the end of lap one and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah.
That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh dear, a wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am! What do we do? Put the wheel back on! Okay, okay chief mechanic! mechanic. No. No. Go, George, go! Oh dear, George is now at the back of the race. Pedal fast, George! Come on, George! The winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> the little boat! Pepper and her family are going on a picnic. I love picnics! Me too! The picnic spot is on the other side of the river. Oh, how do we get over there? We take a little boat. You call it by ringing this bell. Hello there! It is Grampy Rabbit in his rowing boat. Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off. Thank you, Grumpy Rabbit. Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr. Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr. Pig. Ah, oh, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big fat wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry, we've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here. Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Oh, Grumpy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. Oh, oh you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs. Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs. Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, we forgot you. But 
I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look, Mrs Duck has saved you a worm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> the sand pit. Pepper and her friends are playing in the sand pit. <laughs> this sand pit is our desert island. <laughs> we will live here forever. <laughs> if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice. It just needs some houses. And roads. And shops. I saw. <gasps> yes, George. The desert island can have dinosaurs too. What are you doing? We're making a desert island. It's got houses and roads and shops. Has it got trees? No. It would be nicer if it had trees. Where are we going to get trees from? We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. Dinosaurs? You look after the island while we go and look for some trees. Brum, brum, brum. Pepper, Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Have you got any spare trees? Uh. We need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. Brum, brum, brum. The dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert island. <laughs> the dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh. Where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. <coughs> Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. <coughs> Pedro, we've got a desert island with houses and roads, shops, trees and a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. Hmm, I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. I've got a flag in my van if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> <laughs> now our desert island is 